If you're in Texas, there's a new report that came out from AAA. Thank you for the information. The top three claims that have come out of your auto insurance and how much the cost is to repair your car on average across the board. AAA is one of those resources that has a lot of driving and informational pieces that they share with the community. And we really appreciate that. If you're looking to shop with them or a different company, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. There's a company called Cover Insurance where they shop multiple companies and you have those options of checking the best rates. Go ahead and check it below. Otherwise, the top number one claim is the fender bender. It's common when you're holding your cell phone, you're not paying attention, you bump into somebody. The light turns red and you didn't realize the guy who was turning actually stopped and then you smack into him because you were looking out of your blind spot. And it just happens commonly. I've almost done it several times. Yes, it could result in a serious injury or a death, but not commonly. It's about an average of $13,000 to repair a car, especially with all of the styling of the cars and the different paint and the moldings and everything with the cars, they've gotten a lot more expensive to repair. This fender bender averages about 18% of all auto claims in Texas. AAA's recommendation is to put down your phone, stay focused, ask passengers for help to pull over if you need to read a text message, or activate the do not disturb on your phone if you're going to drive, which I'd be surprised if anybody does that, and encourage drivers to take the pledge to end distractive driving. That is the number one way for accidents to happen is the distractive driving. The second most common in Texas is 10% of all accidents are from backing up. It sounds crazy, but a lot of people aren't paying attention when they're backing up. It averages about $3,400 in claims. So when you're backing up, some rules to follow is drive slowly, avoid shortcuts, watch for pedestrians, and be extra alert for small children's pets, bicycles, anything that you could be running over because you don't want to have that $3,400 claim, especially in Texas. Backing up is considered an at-fault accident no matter what or who you're going to hit. Same scenario in Texas, if you have any type of a claim, they actually have ratings against that. That's one of the reasons a lot of people actually shop quite often and that reason that cover is there is because that's really their home state. They're one of the more competitive options in Texas. Now, although it's 2022, I fair to say these 2021 results are going to follow into this year because hail damage was the third way and reason that there were auto claims. It's the most expensive way to have a claim. It's about $5,700 on average for a hail damage claim with AAA in Texas. You guys have had a crud storm of storms going through and it's not been a fun year for Texas in general. Having car insurance in Texas was one of the toughest years for tons of companies. You gotta look at the main startups. Lemonade Insurance started primarily focusing on Texas. Had the biggest loss year that they've ever had, period. Those quarters just kept coming in with what we call black swan events. They're rare random occasions that companies kind of plan for, but they expect it not to happen so often. Well, you guys had two of them. Part of it is hail damage, and this was caused from those incidences. How do you protect yourself for hail damage? There's not a whole lot you can do. You go under something that's covered, you park your car in a garage. If you're really protective of your car, you run out there and you throw a blanket on it, maybe even something soft under the blanket that would prevent the damage from bouncing into the vehicle and denting the hood, the roof, the glass, and whatever the case is at the time. Keep in mind, you're more important than the vehicle, so make sure that you're safe and not running out when it's too dangerous of weather to have protection for a vehicle that you could easily have your insurance take care of. Will it affect your insurance? Absolutely, Texas is one of those states where your insurance is affected no matter what type of claim you have. Your next step to protect yourself the most is to understand the eight factors that go into how you actually pay for insurance. What are those costs to be coming from? Go ahead and check out our next step, which is the eight factors of insurance and how you guys can learn more so that you can save more on your policy. Go ahead and check it out. I'm Mark with Think Insurance. I'll see you in the next one.